In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Emperor's Throne Room. Hi there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosx Bounty video. And as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Emperor's Throne Room. This set is going to be a PulseCon exclusive and I would imagine that it's going to be available in and around the PulseCon event, sort of mid end of October. If you're wondering how I managed to get hold of this, I got it from a French retail website called maniatoyscollector.com, I think it's called. I will leave a link in the description below. Now I found out about this from a guy called Mark Loftus, so thank you so much Mark, because he actually sent me a message on Facebook and he threw me this link, and I couldn't believe it. This was up for retail in France on a retail website. It cost me 32 euros with 12 euros postage, which included all import taxes, from Europe. I think import taxes at the moment can be quite a lot from Europe to the UK since we left the EU and all that kind of thing. So it was really good, 32 euros and 12 euros postage. I'm very happy to pay that. I think it's gonna be pretty much the same price in the UK, about 32 pounds. So at the end of the day, I've just paid extra for the postage, but I'm quite happy to do that, to get my hands on one of these. So here it is, the Emperor's Throne Room. Let's get Bosk out of the way. Here is the box. Really nice image on the front there of the Death Star window and everything. And you've got the Emperor in his throne. And then you've got some other figures of Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader on the cover. Really nice scene. Looks awesome. And with the Return of the Jedi logo there. Kenner at the bottom. We're just going to move it around. You've got an image of the Emperor there. Now, as you all know, the Emperor is VC200 in the most recent wave of the Vintage Collection. But he does come with a different head to the one in here. So the one in here has an exclusive head sculpt, which we will be taking a look at in a minute. So there you go, there's the back of the box, very similar to the front. You've got the Vintage Collection logo on there, Hasbro at the bottom, and there's another image there just uh, of the Emperor pointing next to his throne, which is pretty cool. Again, the Kenner logo at the bottom, and then a bit of legal stuff. So now, as you're probably aware, you may have seen it on other videos, this box acts as like a sort of cardboard diorama I guess it's just a convention exclusive it's not supposed to be some magical diorama playset with thousands of features and what have you it's just something pretty nice that they've put together for the convention as an exclusive and uh, we're going to open it up and take a look right now so this outer box here will slide off we can see here we've got some sellotape so I just need to cut the sellotape there and there and again at the bottom and then this whole bit will slide off revealing the set underneath so let's do that right now all right then, so all the tape is cut. Let's slide the box off. And there he is sitting in his throne. So that's pretty cool. Now, as you can see there, mine, well, you can't see because the camera's slightly too high, but if you just put it down there, you can see mine does have a small tear there, a little bit of damage, but I'm not really too concerned about that. That's, that's just a, a whatever at the moment. So let's just pull this down. And there you go, it opens up like so. So it's just like a mini sort of cardboard diorama, as it were, just to set the scene, just to give you a bit of an extra thing for your emperor figure and throne. Um, there's this plastic thing, which I believe I'm gonna to have to take off in a minute. Let's see if that's taped on. That is taped on here. So I'm gonna cut those tapes. Okay, so there is the bubble essentially taken off, which leaves like a window, which is pretty cool. Now, if you had your Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader figure, you could potentially put them on these bits here to give them a bit of a background so they can have a little mini battle in the presence of the Emperor. But obviously, I'm not really too concerned about the box. You know, when it's opened out like that, it is quite big. I just think it's quite a nice way to box the, the setup, which is essentially what you're buying it for. You want this like plastic window with the cardboard insert there with the battle of uh, Endor going off in the background. And of course the actual throne and the Emperor himself, which is the main thing, we wanna check him out. So I do know that there is a drawer here, which is gonna have some extra pieces in. So let's see if we can pull that out. And there you go. So within there, if we can just take this out, you have his cane, you have Luke Skywalker's lightsaber and then you have the spare separate hands with the lightning effect which is pretty cool so i will check out those in a second but first of all let's clear this box away which is pretty awesome i've got to say i do like it 
and um, we'll take a look at the figure and the throne. All right then, so here's the Emperor. Let's see what we need to take him out. This piece comes off the back. So that's going to be a separate piece. So we can take this piece off, take get rid of the plastic. And then we can just set that up like that. And then obviously this bit houses the Emperor and it's just got some plastic tags around there, which I'm going to need to cut off. Like so. Take the Emperor out. And then let's see if we can get this out. Okay then, so there he is set up uh, with that little display piece behind him in the throne. The throne is awesome actually, because he really does sit in there very nicely. His knees are bent, so his little robe flows quite nicely over the legs. And of course his head does fit under that brim of the throne there. You can see some detailing on there, some nice little buttons and stuff. Some silver paintwork up at the top, which you can see reflecting off of the light. And again, some more buttons there. If we just take the Emperor off, he does have the buttons actually on the throne as well, on his arms of the throne, which is pretty cool. The throne itself is on a little stand, which does come out. So there's some detailing on the stand itself. Again, that can just go back in. And you can see it's got like a purple effect to, to the throne itself. I'm really liking it. I think it'll look really nice as just a display piece. Even if you had it in your cabinet with all your other figures without this piece. Let's take a look at this piece very, very quickly. So there you go, the battle above Endor happening outside the window. But if you wanted just the plain space scene, you could undo these screws here. These would turn, you remove the cardboard, flip it around, and then you would have a plain scene at the back there. But I quite like the fact that the uh, that the battle above Endor is, is going off. So there we go. Let's just put the Emperor back very, very quickly put his head under there, his arms sit very nicely on the throne and he looks absolutely awesome. So there you go. Right, let's take a closer look at the figure itself. Okay, so first of all, I wanna get a good close up look at the head sculpt with the hood on. You can see that he does have like a plastic hood with soft goods robe. I've never been too keen on when they've done that sort of thing, when they've mixed it, but this one works really well. I think if they did have a soft goods hood, then it wouldn't really sort of sit on the head as well as this one does. And really with the Emperor, you want it just over there on the brim of his forehead, just so it's hanging down over his eyes, just covering up a little bit of his face for that sort of mysterious look. And I think it looks great. It looks really, really good. The head sculpt and paintwork is, is on point. Now I do know that VC200 actually has a different head. And with that head, he has his teeth showing at the point where he's electrifying Luke and he really does look quite evil. This one, he has more of a resting face, bit of an evil smile on his face there, and the eyes look fantastic, and the paintwork, he looks really, really good. Very happy with that. I'm gonna take the hood off now so we can get a closer look, although he probably won't look very good without it in terms of his, his whole head, but we can get a closer look at the face. So there you go, let's just get that in focus. That is really good. But as I say, it looks better with the hood on, of course. I mean, if you look at the side profile there with his hair and everything, not as good. A little bit creepy, but uh, I love the paintwork going on with the eyes. That is fantastic. So we'll just put this hood back on and you can see the difference it makes to the, to the mystery of the Emperor. Look at that. That angle there. Fantastic. Now in terms of the figure itself, a lot of the parts used have been used previously before. I believe that the uh, torso and the legs have been used on a previous Palpatine figure. I believe it was the Phantom Menace version. The belt is an all new belt with this kind of sash hanging down here. And of course the cloak is new as well, designed specifically for this Emperor. He has the baggy sleeves, which is pretty cool. And there's his hands. I do believe these are the same hands from the figure that I just mentioned, the Phantom Menace one. And we're going to change the hands in just a second to uh, put the electric, the electric effect hands to see what he looks like. But he does have lots of articulation. He does have uh, the ball jointed shoulders and elbows. 
He has a swivel at the waist. Of course, the head is on a ball joint as well, but you're not going to be really doing too much with that with the hood on. He, of course, has the knee joints because you need him to be able to sit down. And he just has the swivel at the thighs like that. But there's your knee joint because obviously you want him to sit down. And he probably has ankle. Yeah, he has an ankle hinge as well. So there you go. But of course, you really just want to display him in his robe, sitting in his throne. Um, that's where he's going to look the best, in my opinion. But let's see what he looks like with his accessories. All right, then. So there he is in a little pose there with his first accessory that I've got out, which is the cane. So let's just take that out of his hand. He doesn't hold it that well, but well enough to keep it in place. And there you can see it's pretty screen accurate. Actually, I do like that. It's just a black piece of plastic. Not too bendy, it's sturdy enough. You can see the handle there. So that's pretty cool. The other accessories that he does come with are the hands and the lightsaber. So we've probably seen that lightsaber quite a few times before. So let's just take these hands out and put those on instead. And there you go, there he is with his hands swapped out for the lightning effects. Now these hands also do come with the single release VC200. And I think these hands match that head sculpt better. So that one where he's grinding his teeth, gritting his teeth, real anger on his face as he's electrifying Luke Skywalker, you're probably going to want those hands. But that head sculpt there with that facial expression is definitely more suited to the throne where you're going to want his normal hands, perhaps, you know, holding Luke Skywalker's lightsaber and what have you. All in all, a great figure. I do like it. It's about time we had the Emperor in the Vintage Collection. Of course, I'm probably more looking forward to the single release version to get that card back in the collection and also to get that alternate head as well. Because um, I feel that, you know, as I say, if you're going to have him in this pose with the lightning hands, really you need that other head sculpt. But I'm going to be posing this figure with the normal hands and having him sitting in the throne. I think that works a lot more better with this particular head sculpt. One more time, look at that. He looks proper evil, so very happy with that. All right then, everybody, that's us taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Emperor's Throne Room with the Emperor and his throne, of course, in this like mini diorama with that back piece there with the Battle of Endor going off in the background, which is pretty awesome. The packaging really doesn't concern me too much. It'll probably end up going back in the box and in the loft, but it's a nice way to open the set anyway. I think I'm just going to display him with the, the two pieces uh, the throne and that back piece with the window there but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the review i hope you enjoyed the close look at the emperor with this exclusive head sculpt that only comes on the emperor in this set so thank you for watching and we shall see you on the next one